we'll just continue with the notes okay so Properties of polygons, right? definitions. Regular polygon So in other words, a regular polygon is a closed shape that is equiangular and equilateral. And that just is a fancy word for, fancy way of saying all sides and all angles are congruent. Okay. So regular, oh, not the best highlighter. Okay. Regular polygon has... Um, all sides and all angles are the same, are congruent, okay? It's important to remember. So examples of regular polygons would be an equilateral triangle, right? So you've got all sides are the same and all angles are the same as well. A square okay. all sides are the same all angles are 90 okay so that's what they mean and polygons by the way poly is many gons sides so many sides right so these two would be considered polygons, but they have a specific name, right? Equilateral, triangle, and square. We have convex polygons. All interior angles. Or less than 180 degrees. So it would look like that. Concave. This is a polygon where just a closed polygon, concave polygon. They look a little different, so we'll make one that's a little easier. So it's basically, it has portions that might go in, like it eats into it. Okay, so this right here, this is greater than 180, right? It's a reflex, okay? So we will say, as an angle, greater than 180 degrees. We're gonna be dealing with convex polygons, mostly.
Okay. All polygons have interior and exterior angles. They will always be supplementary. So I'll give you a diagram. So let's try it. Let's start with a triangle. So a triangle, if it's a regular polygon, right? Just start with a regular polygon. We're going to go equilateral triangle. They have this one has three interior angles. There is one here, there's one here, and there's one here. So number of sides, three. Number of interior angles, three. Number of exterior angles, three. So what you do is to come up with the exterior angles is you pick one side. So let's say you want to pick this side, you extend it, and there you have your exterior. This is the exterior angle right here. So the interior and the exterior, what do you think they're going to add up to? We already told you, by the way. They're supplementary, right? And so let's keep going, right? Then you go along this side, you extend that one. You come along this side and you extend that one. It's almost like a water wheel or something, right? So you've got exterior there and you've got an exterior here. Not out here, in this case it's here, right? Interior, exterior, interior, exterior. So Three, three sides, three interior, three exterior. Okay. We also know that, let's do angles, angles. Right? We know that exterior, angle plus interior angle will always be 180 degrees. Therefore, let's say you know the exterior angle, you could find the interior angle by just going 180 minus E. Or, if you know the interior, you want to know the exterior, you do the same thing. These I will box in. They're important to know. This is an easy example to do, but what do we know if this is an equilateral triangle? We know that this is 60, this is 60, and this is 60, right? Therefore, the exterior angle would be 120 because they have to add up to 180, right? 120, 120. Can you tell what the exterior angles add up to? 3 times 120? 360. In fact, 
this is a note here. Um, sum of exterior angles is 360 degrees. Always, regardless of a number of sides, okay? Regardless okay. of number of sides, okay? You need to make sure you remember that. If it's a pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, any gone, right, the exterior angles will always be 360. Try it on a, try it on a square. This is just an aside. My aside booklet here, okay? Because um, I don't want to make the notes too busy, right? right? If you, right, this, this will be 90, 90, 90, 90. If you extend this side here, and this side here, and this side here, Set here. So you go around and do that. You're gonna have a 90 here, a 90 there, a 90 there. All right. So four times 90, that's 360. Okay. So it doesn't matter which one, what shape. It's always gonna be 360 on the outside, the exterior angles. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Continued formulas that you need to know. These have to be on your study sheet. Okay. There are five you need to add You know why I do this? Because it's in writing. You can't, nobody can tell me, did you tell us to put us on a side sheet? Uh, you just go back to my notes. I'm like, yep, I told you, right? All right. Um, so what we do here is, S is equal to, um, that looks like a five, right? You'll you'll tell in a bit. So let me just do something else here, right? I'll tell you what this stands for in a bit. So S of N is equal to N minus two times 180, 180 degrees. So this is the sum of interior angles. By the way, N represents the number of sides that the shape has. Okay. And then you have interior, IN would be, it starts the same as the top, as the sum, except for this one you have to divide by N because you're gonna find out what each individual interior angle measures, okay? Um, okay, and then we have the central which is 360 divided by N. And I'll give you a diagram where I show you measure of the central angle. I'll label them in a bit, okay? Exterior angle is the same formula, right? 360 divided by N.
And the last one, d n times n minus 3 divided by 2 number of diagonals that can be drawn. So are you psyched about are you psyched about polygons? Right? Uh -huh. I know that's not how you spell it, but it helps to remember. I'm sickened. No, that doesn't really work because of the end. But uh, you you can uh, do what you want with this in the order that you like. Doesn't matter. What I'm going to tell you though is that there are three here in the middle that are always that are just pertaining to regular polygons. Right, so these three are it's only true only true for regular polys right those are only true those three only apply cuz cuz if it's not a regular then each interior angle will be different right so you're assuming that each angle is the same when you're using this formula, right? The sum of interior angles, that's always true. It doesn't matter. It, try it for a triangle, right? Three minus two is one. One times 180 is 180. And we know for any triangle, it's always 180. So this is always true. Always, and this is always. So make sure you write that down, that it's uh, somewhere where you can go back to and uh, add this. Um, central and exterior are, have the exact same formula. Okay. And they're obviously going to be the same um, by, the, for, by that reasoning. Okay. Okay. I know it's recorded, so you can go back and check this, but make sure you have this right. I will tell you the one, the, the main thing that students forget to do here is they forget to divide by n. That's the, one of the most common mistakes. So then it ends up being just the sum of interior angles, really not each interior angle. All right. So we're going to uh, make a pentagon because that's the easiest one to do. Okay, so we're going to try to make it look regular. And you might have to do a few tries and that's fine. You, tr you start with a triangle, right, a top, a roof. And then you go down, down, across. I know it doesn't look good, but art isn't my thing. I like looking at art, but I'm not good at it. Okay, so find the center. The center is right here for me. And you kind of just make a dashed line going to the center from one vertex here and then go from the center out to the next one. So basically the one side length is connecting them, right? So this angle right here is what we call a central angle. So put a C there, okay? Um, each one of these here is called the interior angle. It has five, five sides. Five interior, five exterior. That's always true. So this one here, we're going to call this I, right? 
that's the interior and then we're going to do the extension it doesn't matter if you want to extend this way that's fine i tend to fold that way but what is not true is that you can't do both at that corner you can't do this way and that way it's only you only pick one side that you'd like to extend and this here is called the exterior and the sum i cannot label right the sum is all of them right and the diagonals i would have to make a new one because it, it gets a little crazy so what i will do here is i'll make another pentagon and show you how the diagonals work so a diagonal would be you can start at any corner so if you go from here that would be a, di a diagonal across this would be another one i'm going to use a different color and i'm going to go to the next corner that isn't connected yet and i'm going to say where can i connect to i can go straight across and i can go to this point right here and then the sides don't count as a diagonal right so i'm done there and i'm going to use maybe green i can see that from here to here isn't done yet so there you have a star right so how many diagonals does this thing have one, two, three, four, five. Oh, Mr. Dirksen, it has five sides, five interior, five exterior, and five diagonals. No, that's just coincidence. The more sides that shape has, the more diagonals it, it will have. Okay. So what we're going to do here is, first of all, we're going to calculate all the things that we've labeled here. Well, except for the sum, we haven't labeled. Um, so we're going to go over here, and then the sum of what's n in this case well it's one two three four five n is equal to five okay so you make that clear n is the number of sides so the sum of a five of a pentagon if you look up at the formula up there it's five minus two times 180 and that'll be three times 180 right so that's 540 degrees so all the interior angles added up will give you 540 degrees. Each interior angle, I'm using I of N, right? Would be five minus two times 180 divided by five. And I will do one more line. That's three times 180 divided by 5 and that's 108 so this angle right here is 108 okay. that interior every single one by the way is 108 every single one okay now we're going to find the central angle of a pentagon and that's just 360 divided by 5 okay and that will be 72 degrees and so you go down here and if you'd like to label that 72 that's what that that would be 72 and it's it would be how many central angles are there there are also five but we're just going to label one and it makes sense, right? Around this center, it's 360 degrees. We're dividing about the number of sides to get that, okay? Uh, exterior angle of a, of a pentagon would be the same thing. So we're just gonna fast forward that one. So we knew that's 72. How else could we have calculated this? I will actually do that right here. Or we know that the exterior angle would be 180 minus the interior which we had already calculated so the exterior would be 180 minus 7 uh, 108 sorry i'm jumping the gun here 
72 degrees. So regardless of which method you choose, I will tell you that, uh, that this will be very handy down the road, the second method. It will save you a lot of time. Um, and so that's that. And let's do the last one, diagonal of a five-sided pop that's a pentagon. That would be uh, five times five minus three divided by two. You can never get a decimal here, by the way. If you get a decimal, you did something wrong. That'd be 5 times 2 divided by 2, which is 5. And we actually did draw 5 diagonals. Right, so it's, so it's all properties, all things that will make it easier for you to uh, to work with this later on. Okay. What are we at? 303? Mm -hmm. We'll take some time to give you a break. Um, I won't do all of them. We'll just do up to heptagon. That's where we're going to stop. But on your study sheet, I'm going to ask you to do this, OK? You need to know the names up to a decagon. Actually, I'm going to add dodecagon. What happened to the 11 sided? There is no name that I know of. So, normally, what I would do is get uh, make a chart like this. So, we're going to come up with the polygon name, the number of sides. I've already done that. And then you come up with the sum, the interior, and the exterior angle like this. But we're not going to do the whole thing. I still need you to know the names and the number of sides associated with it. So do copy all of this. But in class right now, we're only going to calculate up to the heptagon. We're going to calculate these three things. I'm going to let you do that. Okay. So copy down the whole thing, but we're not going to fill in the whole thing because you're going to get the picture after a while, okay? So you need five columns, two, four, six, eight, ten rows. Ten rows, five columns. Copy that now. Okay, 180, 360. 540, 720, right? I think it's 720. Oh, you know how I'm getting these numbers, right? I hope I'm using this one. Okay, so for every single one of these, if I were to ask you to do that, right, the number of sides is your N. And then you just plug it in here and get it. So this would be 5 times 180, basically, 900. This would be 6 times 180, because I just go n minus 2, right? 1,080. That would be 1,260. 1,440. And uh, 1,800. Okay. So I always went n minus 2 times 180, n minus 2 times 180. I'm using that formula up there essentially to do this. Okay. Let me zoom out a bit so I can possibly fit it all on there. And the interior, I'm just using this formula, right? Which is n minus 2 times 180 divided by n. So essentially, watch this, the n minus 2 
times 180, you've already calculated here. If you just divide this by n, which is over here, you get the interior. So this would be 60, right? 360 divided by 4 is 90. Uh, this one is 1, no, 72. 72. This is 60? No. No, no, this is this is bigger, 108, right? This is 108, 540 divided by 5 is 108. Sorry, I'm mixing up exterior and interior. It's 108. This is 120. This is going to be a decimal. This is 128.57, and that's okay. Some will be decimals. And we've got 135, 140. This one is this one is 144, and you've got 150 here. So there's no real pattern if you see, right? Like it's just what you do notice that the interior angle is getting larger and larger. Do you notice that? Because the more sides you have, right, the the bigger the angle gets, okay? The exterior, I'm gonna use, you can use the formula 360 divided by N, but I'm gonna use exterior is gonna be 180 minus I. That's what I'm gonna use, right? So you go 180 minus 60, that's 120. So every exterior angle on a triangle will be 120. This would be 90. This would be 72. This would be 60. Right? This would be 45. What happened to that, Mr. Dirksen? I'll come back to that. I'm doing the easy rounds first, right? Uh, this would be 36. This would be 30. Right? So I'm just taking this away from 180 to get that one. Okay? 51, 53. Okay, so you fill in this whole thing just like that, okay? Um, but you, when I'm asking you to do that, uh, a question, you actually have to show me the formula and how you plug it in and how you solve for it, okay? We're good. I want to do two more examples. I know at home it's a little slower to copy this down than here in class, so I'm going to just count to 30 in my head. And then we're almost done. Okay. 28, 29, 30. All right. Can you write that down, please? So some examples. Given a regular 14-sided polygon, calculate the measure the measure of each interior angle or the interior angle.
Mm. All right, so the measure of, of the interior angles, I'd already did that. I went ahead and just used the formula. So it's 154.29 degrees. So watch out for the decimal angles. The other one, the only thing that you're not going to have a decimal for is the uh, diagonals, the number of diagonals. Okay. So I want you to write it like that I of 14, right? Interior angle of a 14 sided is this, okay? B, the measure of each exterior angle, and I'm showing you both ways. So it's either using the formula, or now that you know the interior already, just subtract it from 180 to get the exterior. The central is the same as the exterior, so I'm just using the formula again. It's always 360 divided by N. And the sum of exterior angles, always 360 degrees. Doesn't matter if it's regular or irregular. You can count on it. So let's say Let's say I give you a talk about a certain hexagon and I give you, it should have six exterior angles, right? I give you five of them. Can you come up with the last exterior angle? Yeah, it's just the same as the triangles, right? When you know two out of the three, you're good to go. We're not quite done yet, guys. Sometimes uh, that chart, I could have probably waited with the chart, but anyway. Um, this one I'm going to do with you. So just copy down. Can't get it right, eh? There. The sum of interior angles for a polygon is 3,060 degrees. Determine the number of sides. So this is a working backwards. Here you're going to need to know a little bit of algebra to do this, right? right? Sum is given, right? Therefore, use use that formula, right? The sum is already given, so we substitute. 36 is equal to n minus 2 times 180. What do I do now? This is, for some reason, students get stuck on this one. Um, you can divide by 180 right away if you choose to do so. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I'm going to use a different color. Some of you will distribute you can do that as well. 
but I'm going to divide both sides by 180 degrees. That allows me to cancel out these two here. And on the other side, you actually do the calculation and you get 17. 17 is equal to, now you can drop the brackets and it's just n minus 2 like that. I'm going to get rid of that, so I'm going to add 2 to both sides or bring the 2 over adding. It's up to you. So you get 19 is equal to n. Polygon has 19 sides. That's how you do that one. One more. This one is a little harder. Oh no. Why? Why, Mr. Dirksen? Why would you do that? Okay, you can handle it. There. Last one, promise. The interior angle of a regular polygon is 170 degrees. Determine the number of sides. The interior angle of a regular polygon is 170 degrees. Determine the number of sides. They're giving you the interior angle, not the sum. Make sure you understand that. Interior angle provided. Okay, you have a choice here. Use E is equal to 180 minus the interior, or you can use this one. Which one is easier? This one, right? Yes. And I'll tell you why that one always works and that's why it's my go-to. Let's zoom in. Let's l pretend this polygon is here and we're zooming into one vertex. So we're just, these are two sides coming together here. We know that this here is 170. That's what we're told. And we're going to extend one of these sides. And that's going to be the exterior angle right there. Exterior is going to be 180 minus 170. So the exterior is 10 degrees. But Mr. Dirksen, they're not asking for the exterior. They're asking us for the number of sides, correct? What's the formula for exterior angle? It's this. So we, we use the interior to come up with the exterior and the exterior can be substituted into this formula here. So 10 degrees is equal to 360 over N. I don't know if, if I showed you the secret yet, but I'm going to show it to you. There's a little trick off. Okay, one second. It's 360 times 1 divided by 10. That's how you solve a proportion like this. 360 divided by 10. So this has 36 sides. You're saved by the bell. Um, 
let me just give you the homework, okay? I need you to do a few. So it's right here. Okay, that's it for homework. Some of them are kind of tricky. Just read them and see what you can do with all the knowledge you have at this point. Okay, it's important that you do them. All right. Have a great day. Log off at home. And you don't even need to wait for the bell anymore. <laughs>